up to now we discussed about what is mutual inductance what is the mutual inductance and self inductances of solenoid and toroid in previous video previous lecture now we go for mutual inductance and newman's formula newman's formula that is very important for electromagnetics or electric potential from unit 4 or 3 the chapter 3 and 4 both are related magnetic potential magnetostatics hence the topics may be covered in th third chapter may be in 4 fourth chapter may be in 3 that is the viewers has to observe the students has to observe unit 3 and 4 are similar the third unit chapters may be come fourth unit fourth unit chapters may come in third unit that we have to remember let us start newman's formula newman's formula used to find the mutual inductance between two loops two loops that is consider two loops consider two loops l c1 and c2 the two loops are coil 1 and coil 2 we consider s1 and s2 are the two coils coil 1 and coil 2 the center of this coil is s1 and s1 s2 the current through coil 1 is the current through coil 1 is i1 that we have to remember current through coil 1 is i1 current through coil 2 is i2 a small length in the coil is dl1 a small length in coil 2 is dl2 okay the distance they are separated is smaller the magnetic flux density links with coil 2 due to coil 1 b1 is linked with another coil magnetic flux density will link okay carrying currents i1 and i2 respectively as shown in this diagram let s1 and s2 are the surfaces corresponding to loop 1 and loop 2 we represented as s1 and s2 and r is the distance between two loops r is the distance between two loops or distance is separation by a small distance r a separated distance between two loops by vector magnetic potential magnetic field is produced by loop 1 is b1 equal to del cross a1 okay what is vector magnetic potential that we know b equal to del cross a b1 equal to del cross a1 okay vector magnetic potential is given by b equal to del cross a similarly vector magnetic potential produced by this loop this loop we have to consider vector magnetic potential produced by this loop is b equal b1 equal to del cross a1 that is a1 equal to we already derived this formula b1 equal to mu by mu by 4 pi i dl1 by l now let phi21 be the flux linked by the coil 2 due to change of current in coil 1 phi21 flux links with the coil 2 due to change of current in coil 1 that is phi21 equal to b1 dot ds2 we can calculate therefore total flux through the loop 2 you can calculate total flux through the loop 2 phi21 equal to if you integrate s2 with respect to b1 dot ds2 one formula we have to remember phi equal to surface integral b dot ds that formula we have to remember already we told you in magnetostatics also phi equal to surface integral b dot ds if you integrate b ds over the surface ba ds is a ba phi equal to ba formula you can get similarly we are applying phi to 1 equal to closed integral closed surface integral b1 dot ds2 because the ds2 we have to consider flux link is linked by the coil 2 change of current in coil 1 that is coil 2 we have to consider surface area b1 we can substitute del cross a1 dot ds2 by stokes theorem line integral can be converted into surface integral therefore line integral h dot dl equal to surface integral del cross h ds this is the formula for stokes theorem one of the formula that is converted line integral h can be converted into surface integral del cross h ds therefore we are applying the stokes theorem surface integral 2 integral surface integral 2 del cross ai a1 ds2 equal to line integral c2 a1 dot dl this we are writing here 
and uh, right hand side is uh, left hand side we are writing here surface integral that is a uh, line integral is c2 a1 dot dl2 can be converted into surface integral by using stokes theorem surface integral s2 del cross a1 ds2 we can write by using stokes theorem by using stokes theorem we can convert line integral into surface integral what is stokes theorem line integral h dot dl equal to surface integral del cross h ds that is the stokes theorem simply we are applying this stokes theorem by using surface is here s2 can be converted into volume integral surface integral to line integral to surface integral that is surface uh, closed integral c2 a1 dot dl2 equal to surface integral s2 del cross a1 ds2 where dl2 is the elementary length of loop 2 already we assumed elementary length dl2 is the elementary length of loop 2 now phi to 1 equal to closed line integral c2 dl2 by mu by 4 pi closed integral c1 i1 dl1 by r substitute a1 value in the phi to 1 equation previously we substituted phi to 1 equal to we get phi to 1 equal to mu i1 by 4 pi closed integral c1 c2 dl1 dl2 by 8 sorry it is r it is a radius r the distance of separation is r therefore mutual inductance m21 equal to flux linkage m phi to 1 by i1 that we are writing phi to 1 already we calculated this one we are substituted here therefore m21 equal to mu by 4 pi closed integral c1 c2 dl1 dl2 by r similarly m21 we calculated m12 m12 equal to mu by 4 pi closed integral c1 c2 dl1 dl2 by r where m12 equals phi12 by i2 okay that is the Newman's formula for calculation of mutual inductance the equations 3 and 4 may be called as Newman's integrals or Newman's formulae the equations now another topic energy stored and energy intensity in a magnetic field you know that energy stored in inductor l equal to half li square energy stored in inductor is half li square energy stored in inductor is half li square how we are getting simply by applying energy equation we can calculate in another way also we can calculate how we are calculating let us see consider a coil of inductance or self inductance l henry's it is produced by a current i through the coil as the current increases gradually from zero to i the flux linkage of coil changes and emf will be induced and the current increase i equal the coil of a current wala emf produce out due to a current flow through the coil as the current increase gradually from 0 to i the flux linkage also changes whenever flux links with the coil an emf will be generated we have e equal to nd5 by dt according to faraday's loss of electromagnetic induction e equal to nd5 by dt that is n into d5 d by dt phi can be written as phi is phi into 1 i by i if you multiply similarly lambda equal to L equal to psi by lambda by inductance is lambda by yeah, that is n phi by i. E equal to we can write n phi by i di by dt we can write. We already know that E equal to L di by dt. EMF induced in a coil is L di by dt or power equal to work done divided by time or work done equal to power into time or energy equal to power into time. We know that power equal to power equal to work done divided by time or energy divided by time power equal to e by t or we know that work done differential work done is e i dt e i dt this we are using because energy stored in magnetic field let dw be the differential work done differential work done can be written as e i dt we already know that Differential work done dw equal to i dt joules. Work done means work means energy it is energy w equal to power into time. Energy w equal to power means vi 
V means voltage into voltage means it is EMF E I D T. Differential work done means differential time we have to consider. Similarly, we have substituted in place of E EMF induced is L D I by D T. I D T we multiply D T D T get cancelled. The differential work done that is L I D I differential work done. Therefore, total work done. Work done is nothing but energy is required to do work. Total work done is established due to current flow from 0 to I. That is total work done Wm equal to integral 0 to I dW differential work done if you integrate. 0 to I Li dI. We are substituted this equation. Make it as equation 1. That we substituted here. Finally, L inductance it is a constant assume that 0 to uh, integral 0 to i i d i if you integrate this i square by 2 the limits are 0 to i if you substitute i half l i square is the energy stored in magnetic field the inductor stores the energy in the form of magnetic field what is the energy stored in inductor you know half l i square you will obtain like this we can substitute another formula also by the inductance we know that inductance is n phi by i or lambda by i Therefore, energy stored in magnetic field Wm equal to half L, L plus L we can substitute lambda by into I square. Since L equal to lambda by I, we can substitute lambda by in place of L, L. That is I and I square one of the square get cancelled. Therefore, Wm energy stored in magnetic field is half into lambda I that equal to lambda wm means energy stored in magnetic field wm equal to half lambda square by l lambda square by l we can write because since i equal to lambda by l we can substitute therefore energy stored in magnetic field equal to half l i square or half lambda i or 1 by 2 lambda square by l similarly energy density in magnetic field now we go for energy density in magnetic field. In general, electrostatic fields are the energy density is given by, already we know that energy density in electrostatic field of dE that already we derived previously of integral d dot e dV that equal to half integral d dot e that is epsilon e square dV we can substitute since d equal to epsilon e. We can substitute like that. For energy density in magnetic field, we have to consider differential volume element by assuming differential volume element for calculating energy density. For the energy density in magnetic field, we have to consider differential volume element with, with conducting sheet of a loop. A loop we have to consider. Differential volume in, in the sense it has a delta x is the width, delta y is the breadth and delta z is the height of the differential element on x, y, z axis. This is the differential current in z axis delta i. Similarly, in all directions differential current is delta i. Assuming the total magnetic field region is filled with such a differential volume element in magnetic field. Total magnetic field region differential elements inductance of differential volume delta L inductance of this differential volume element we have to consider inductance of this differential volume element delta L equal to delta N phi by delta I L equal to lambda by I similarly lambda is nothing but N phi similarly delta L becomes delta L becomes delta lambda by delta I that is delta N phi by delta I that can be written as delta phi by delta i l since n equal to 1 one loop only we consider since lambda equal to phi since lambda equal to phi because uh, n phi it is n equal to 1 gamma time of the lambda equal to phi phi we can write as surface integral b dot ds or phi l r h tells me already surface integral b dot ds b dot ds if you integrate ds s will come Therefore, b into e, s, b into a is nothing but phi, phi equal to b a, you know that, b equal to phi by a, that is the formula, same, b a we can obtain. Therefore, b a equal to b plus lambda right to mu h and right mu h, area is dx dy, current flows in z direction, assume that z direction low current both on number m royally dx dy, like a y direction low in number dx dz royal. 
अंत दट करेंट डैरे जेड ऐक्स अजूम दट म्यू हेच डीएक्स डी वै वी कैन रईट देर फोर डेलटा एल डेलटा एल इज इंडक्ट आफ डिफरेंशियल एलमेंट डेलटा एल ईक्वल टू म्यू हेच डेलटा एक्स डेलटा वै बै डेलटा ई मेक इट ईक्वे वन मेक इट ईक्वे वन मेक इट ईक्वे वन द एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन मैटिक फील्ड आलरे यू नो दट हाफ एल स्क्वे और हाफ लैमडा सिमिलरली डेलटा डबल्यू एम ईक्वल टू इधर एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन मैटिक फील्ड डिफरेंशियल वाल्यूम एलमेंट डेलटा डबल्यू एम ईक्वल टू वन बै टू डेलटा एल डेलटा ई स्क्वे मेगटेज ईक्वे नंबर टू सब्सट्यूट ईक्वे वन इन ईक्वे टू दिस ईक्वे वी आर सब्सट्यूट इन ईक्वे वन अंड अंड टू then what we can get and cancel each other then then delta i equal to h z h into delta z after substituting all this finally delta m delta w m equal to energy stored in differential volume element half mu h square dx delta x delta y delta z what is dv dv is nothing but differential volume element differential volume element what is the formula in cartesian coordinate system differential element what is the formula dv dv equal to dx dy dz that we substituted that also equal to dv the energy density is defined as energy stored per unit volume energy density is the formula energy density is given by energy density is given by energy stored per unit volume energy total energy stored divided by total volume gives energy density or total differential volume energy divided by differential volume that is half mu h square half mu h square will come therefore delta w m by delta v equal to half b h we can write since b equal to mu h we can substitute in place of mu h we can substitute half b h okay how we are getting this half b h you know are you understand or not since of mu h into h we can write mu h plus lm substitute j to b and substitute j we can substitute b therefore we can write of b h this is the total energy density in magnetic field that is of integral b h dv total energy density in differential volume element is of b h or w m equal to delta w m equal to of b closed integral bh dv the energy stored per unit volume is called energy density this is about entire chapter unit 4 magnetic potential and third and fourth chapters both are covered in this third and fourth chapters mixed together if the chapter title is unit 3 unit 4 may be there unit 4 unit 3 may be there that we have to remember and follow accordingly thank you